Hi, in this video I want to talk about port forwarding and I'm going to use that packet to better demonstrate how I can access, uh, for example, that computer but from outside my network. Because otherwise this is not something that would normally be possible. I mean, there are other ways that I can use to access my local network from the outside. For example, by using a VPN connection. But VPN is not exactly the same. Besides, it can be more complicated because you need to have a VPN server. Port forwarding though is just simpler and doesn't require a server. And most of the home wireless routers can easily do that. Now let's take a closer look at this network. The network address is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. In other words, all the devices in this network will have IP addresses in this range, including the wireless router itself. These IP addresses are private addresses and are valid on this local area network, but not on the internet, because only public IP addresses are valid on the internet. So that's why the internet interface of the router, which is also called WAN, has a public IP address, so this way it can communicate with the internet. In one of the early videos of this channel, I talked about the private and public IP addresses in more details. So check it out if you're interested. Link is also in the video description. Hope you don't mind the not very good sound quality. It was a long time ago. And for some reason back then I used to play two different characters. Some people even ask me if I have a twin brother or something. Of course not. At least not that I know of. Now let's say this is the computer that I will need to be able to access it from outside my network. For example, let's say it's a web server, which means I will need to be able to access port number TCP80 and TCP443 of this IP address, but from outside the network. So TCP80 is HTTP and TCP443 is HTTPS. But in this video and just for the sake of simplicity, let's only focus on HTTP which is TCP80. Now if I want to access it from this computer which is on the same network, I just need to open a browser here and type in the IP address of the server which should send an HTTP request to this IP address and by default to port TCP80. The destination IP address is valid on this network, so the router will forward the packet to the destination and then the server will use the source IP address and source port number of the packet to send an HTTP response to that computer and this is how they can communicate. However, the problem is that this IP address is not valid on the internet and if I'm here outside the network, I can no longer use that IP address to access the web server. Now, what if I use the public IP address of the wireless router to connect? Huh? Hello, Packet. How can I help you? Hi, I'm trying to reach that IP address through port TCP80. Well, that IP address is me, but I'm not offering any service on port TCP80. <laughs> Hello, Packet. How can I help you? Hi, are you sure? I've come a long way. Can you just double check? Sure. Hello. Hi there. No, as you saw, the router would just drop the packet. Because how is it supposed to know the destination is the web server and not the router itself? Hmm? So that's why I need to first enable the port forwarding on this router and configure it in a way that if it receives a packet with the destination IP address of the router and port TCP80, then the router should forward that packet to this IP address and port TCP80. That should fix the problem. So on my ASUS wireless router, this is how I can access the port forwarding section. Now, if the service that I want to use, and because of that I'm enabling the port forwarding, is on this list, I can easily select that and it should add the port number for me. Otherwise, I can manually enter it myself. So, the service name for me is HTTP server, the protocol is TCP, and the external port number is 80. I can add multiple port numbers if I need to, or even use a range of ports as well. 
Now here I should specify the internal IP address and internal port number that it should be forwarded to. The internal port number as you can see is optional because if I leave it blank then it will forward to the same port as the external port. So in my case I don't need to enter anything here. But if I want it to forward it to a different port number then I can specify it here. Now, if I want to use the port forwarding rule only for a specific IP address from the internet and not everyone else, I can specify that IP address here in the source IP box. Otherwise, if I leave it blank, then everybody who sends an HTTP request to this IP address will be forwarded to the server. Now that being said, I should be really careful with using port forwarding and only enable it when I need it and when I know what I'm doing and definitely disable it as soon as I no longer need it because otherwise it can become a security problem. Because normally this wireless router, which is also a firewall, protects the network from hackers and doesn't let them get inside. But when I'm enabling the port forwarding, I'm intentionally allowing everybody to pass the firewall and get to this device. Now, if this device is not equipped with a firewall, or if the operating system is just outdated and there is some kind of vulnerability, the hackers might be able to use that and hack this device or even other devices that are connected to this network. So I should be absolutely certain that this device is up to date and secured before enabling the port forwarding for it. And I should not do that for a device that I'm not sure about its security situation. Now let's say this device is secured but after some time I just don't need it anymore and I decide I should remove it from the network. It is now possible that this IP address will be assigned to another device which is connected to this network. Therefore that port forwarding rule will be forwarding the packets towards this device. And if it is not secured then we're gonna have a problem. And that's why it is very important to disable the port forwarding rule which is no longer needed. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, if you want to consider supporting the channel, links are in the video description. Thank you again and I will see you next time.